Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to start a fashion blog and make money. So be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. This video or any other video on this channel helps you out. So basically what we're going to cover today is I'm going to explain to you exactly what a fashion blog is. I'm going to show you a few examples. I'm going to show you that why you need to pick a niche is very important. And within a niche, you even need to niche down. The next thing we're going to cover, and I'm going to walk you through this step by step, is something called web hosting and why you need it in order to have a blog and how you can actually get your first domain name for free. Hint, hint, it is clicking the first link in the description, but we'll cover that just a second. After that, we are going to install WordPress onto your web hosting platform. We are going to get a premium WordPress theme. After that, we are going to talk about some important changes that you absolutely have to make in order to get success, find success on your blog. After that, I'm going to show you and tell you how you can start writing faster so that you can make more money sooner. After that, we are going to talk about ways to make money, why you need to share your content on social media in the very beginning, and about how many blog posts you should write before you determine if your website is a success or failure. And be sure to check out the first three links in the description because that's what we're going to cover today. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. What is a fashion blog? Now, a fashion blog is simply a blog where you're going to answer questions and solve problems in the fashion space. So, so your target audience has questions about fashion. Maybe it's about the latest trends. Maybe it's about sunglasses or sneakers or you name it. Maybe, maybe women's dress apparel, whatever it is, you are going to answer those questions and solve those problems. So for example, if we take a look at this website, we wore what? blog.com you can see they are answering questions about sunglasses and hair accessories and and outfits this weekend or this week wedding dresses and all sorts of stuff that is going to be your niche now when you first get started you're tempted to just create content and fashion but i urge you to do something called niching down and if we take a look at the screen here you're going to see these are examples of niches niching down Hair accessories is a sub niche of fashion. This is probably going to be much easier for you to rank and, and gain some traction than just writing about fashion itself. To help illustrate that point, I'm gonna take a look at our keyword research tool. This is called Ahrefs. This is a tool that I use to help me find keywords. Now, if we look at this, it says that the keyword difficulty is 88 or super hard. Now, this is a scale between zero and 100. So the word fashion is 88 very difficult but if we niche down and we focus on 70s fashion for example you can see there is a drastic difference and you could potentially start writing on 70s fashion if we look at the matching terms here you're going to see that there are 48,000 monthly searches and that there are over 4,000 keywords that you could write in but if you wanted to we could go back over to our example here and we could talk about hair accessories we're just going to copy this jump back over to our keyword research tool yet again, paste that in, hit enter, you're gonna see, again, not as difficult, which means there is opportunity for you to find success. So if we look at these matching terms, you're going to see that there are 104,000 monthly searches, 14,000 keywords, and there's a lot of green here, which means there's, there's a lot of opportunity. But if we look at the matching terms for this one, you're going to see a lot more red, orange, and yellow, which means it's going to be very competitive. So if you are getting started, you should start here and right here, as you can see, the hair accessories, 250, zero competition, and not start here. Now, as your website grows and you start getting traction and domain authority, you can start writing on fashion, but to, the, to, to start, you should start with the hair accessories or the 70s fashion. So let's jump back over to our slide deck here. And now we need to talk a little bit about web hosting and why you need it. In order for your website to be seen by your audience from around the world, it needs to be hosted somewhere. And a web hosting company, you'll actually pay them to rent out a hard drive space called a server to host your website. Your website's a collection of files. You're going to pay them as low as $3.95 per month to host your files there. And if you click that first link in the description, that is the best web hosting company for a beginner. Also, they'll give you a free domain name for the first year. If you're wondering what a domain name is, that's right here, we wore what blog.com. That's your domain name. And that's how people are going to refer to you. So if you click that first link, in fact, I'll show you step by step how to set up web hosting. It takes less than five minutes. That includes finding a domain name. That includes signing up for the web hosting company. You can get up and running and get started relatively quickly. When you click that link, you'll be taken to this website where you'll go ahead and click get started. What I recommend is to click the first one on the far left, the basic plan, if you're just getting started with a website. As you can see, there are a number of options, but click that, click select, and then move on. 
here you're going to create a domain name. If you have one in mind, you can type it in here like you see that I do. What I recommend is try and find a domain name that's going to be related to your niche. Now, what I do is I type in a domain name that I know is already taken. When it's taken, you're gonna get this error. What you can then do is go back and try different domains. Now make sure again, you wanna pick one that's related to your niche. Click next, and then you're gonna see a green box that says that it's approved. The next step is simply to go through and enter in your contact information. Make sure that you, when you scroll down here, make sure that you leave all of the settings on. Um, but Again, enter in your contact information, the settings right here where it says domain privacy, leave all of this checked. If you don't leave it checked, you're gonna get people reaching out to you, uh, spamming you, emailing you, trying to get you to sign up for web hosting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sign up and then jump back to you once I sign on and move to the next step. All right, so I have signed up and I'm going to go ahead and set up my website initially. Just create a simple username and password, make sure it meets the requirements there and then move on. Um, make sure that you write it down too. Write it down in a safe spot so that you have it and you remember it because it can be a pain to go ahead and get everything back. You're gonna have to enter in like some vital information, but just make sure that you write it down. It's really easy and really simple. Now, one thing that I do wanna note is that this part is not sped up at all. This is actual real time and you can see that you'll go from absolutely nothing to a complete website in less than probably 10 minutes. And once you click submit, you're gonna move on to the next step where you get to log in. Here is where you're actually going to start creating your WordPress website. Now the great thing is, is Bluehost really does everything for you and it's really simple. So again, I'm not speeding this up at all and I want you to see what it really takes to create a website. Bluehost is gonna do a little bit of work in the background for you and we're just gonna actually click on skip this step. This one, first one I clicked on, start a blog but for the next step just click skip because we know what we're doing and i'm actually going to tell you what to do so that we can get up and running click get started right here on the left hand side and then move on just click skip here and click skip here and then just pick the first one in the far left make sure that you're picking a free theme because they'll charge you they have both free and premium themes which i'll talk about in just a moment so right now it's actually creating your wordpress website in just a few moments, you're gonna click on log in to WordPress on the right hand side there, you'll see it in just a second. And then we can actually start looking at some basic configurations. All right, so we click log in, and now we actually have a WordPress website. What may need to happen is you may need to click refresh a few times to get it to, to work, but now we have our website as you can see. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna log in and delete a few plugins, because right now it has the coming soon and so if someone tried to get to your website at this moment, it's gonna say coming soon to them, even though we can see it. This is what your WordPress website looks like, but for everyone else outside of your network, it's gonna say coming soon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to plugins eventually, and we're going to delete some of the plugins that we don't need. Now I talk a little bit about plugins later on, but um, plugins add additional features and functionality. We are going to deactivate the Bluehost as well as the um, other plugins that are already activated, and then we can go through and make the necessary changes, which I'll cover in just a moment. So we're gonna deactivate them and then delete them. Now you wanna make sure that you only have the plugins that you're using on your website. The more plugins you have, the slower your website's going to respond and, and function, and you're gonna lose out on ranking. So make sure you have a lean setup, very few plugins, and then move on. As you can see right now, I'm just simply deleting some stuff that you don't need. If you want to, you could keep them, but obviously if, if you're just getting started, you don't need this other stuff. What's more important is the themes that we're gonna talk about in just a moment, as well as getting writing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete, delete those, deactivate them, and then we're actually gonna start moving on to settings, which you see right here. All right, so let's go ahead and make some changes that we absolutely have to make so that you can start getting traffic. The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna change your site title. Your site title is going to be the title of your website. You can make this basically your domain name. For example, my domain name is Web Hosting Rewind, and you can see that's my site title. And then the tagline is basically what your website's all about in a very succinct manner. As you can see here, mine says, get the latest news and info on all things web hosting. What you wanna do is make sure that yours is relevant to your niche. For example, if you are creating content about makeup, you can say, come here for the latest tips and tricks for all things makeup. 
Next, you want to make sure that your WordPress address is HTTPS and not HTTP. Make sure your site address is HTTPS as well. And then the administration email should automatically be set. Um, uncheck the membership so that anyone can register. Make sure that this is unchecked. Um, if we scroll down here, you want to change your time zone to your time zone. There are all sorts of them here. Next, you want to make sure that you have your date format set to the way you want, and then go ahead and click Save. If we go down to Writing, there isn't anything in Writing that we need to change. After that, we're going to go to Reading. In Reading, very important, you want to make sure that your homepage displays to your latest post. That's the first thing. And the second one is you want to make sure that your search engine visibility is unchecked. Do not check this. Discourage search engines from indexing this site. You do not want this. Because if this is checked, people aren't going to be able to find your website and everything that we do after this is going to be a waste. So go ahead and click save. This should be unchecked. Next, if we go down to discussion, there really isn't anything that we need to change here. Media, we can leave this as is, and then permalinks is going to be really important. Right now, your permalinks are set to plain. You want to change it to post name. This is done for search engine optimization. What's going to happen is when we create a new blog post, we are going to make it so that it's search engine optimized. We're going to use the keyword in our title, and that keyword is going to show up right here as well. And this is called search engine optimization. Make sure that it's set to post name and then go ahead and click save. And really that's everything that you need to do to make sure that you start getting traffic. All right, so we just installed WordPress and we installed a WordPress theme. We made some changes that you absolutely have to make in order to get traction. And one thing that we want to do before we continue on is to get a premium WordPress theme. You currently have a free theme on the account. It's very basic. It doesn't include any features. What I recommend that you do is click the second link in the description to get a premium WordPress theme. When you click that second link, you'll be taken to this page here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to type in fashion. And the cool thing with a premium WordPress theme is they come with additional features and functionality. It is going to be this theme here is geared towards the fashion niche and you can you can purchase these WordPress themes for as little as $20 or as expensive as $99. But the cool thing is, is these are geared towards the fashion niche. Maybe you're selling your own products, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But these are going to be more focused, more, more created so that you can really exhibit and show the fashion that you're interested in. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this cart button. You're going to add it to your cart and you are going to buy it. When you buy it, you're going to download a zip file to your computer. You're going to unpack or open up that zip file and there's going to be one more zip file. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to install that zip file right into our WordPress website. And it's really easy. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what we're going to do now that I'm in my WordPress back office is I'm going to go to appearance, click on themes. When you click on themes, we're going to click on add new, and then we are going to click on upload theme. We are going to drag and drop that second zip file, or we can just click on choose file and find it manually. Usually it's in the downloads folder, whatever you decide, click on install now and then activate. And just like that, we have a brand new theme. Our website looks completely different. It's more you, it's more personalized, and it has a ton of extra features. So now that we have that, the next step is to just start writing. And what we're going to do is we're going to use one of the keywords that we found over here, cute hair accessories, for example. We're going to copy this, and we are going to start writing. Now, you want to make sure that you are writing a new blog post. So we're going to go to all posts, and we are going to click on add new. When you click on add new, we are going to paste that keyword in right here. Make sure that we have these capitalized. And the reason why we're doing it this way is so that it is search engine optimized. This is going to give us a better chance of ranking in search engines because we are using the keyword that your customers are looking for. Your customers are coming to the internet and they're searching cute hair accessories. What we can do is we can add in a little bit of spice to make it more uh, human friendly. So we could say everything you need to know okay and then i get three questions all the time when it comes to writing how long should my blog post be how do i start writing and how many blog posts should i write now i'll answer that third one last but let's go ahead and answer those other two right now now how long should your blog post be it really all depends on the keyword if you can answer this question in 1,000 words, it should take 1,000 words. Also consider what your competitors are doing. So if we copy it, cute hair accessories and I paste this in right here, let's see the top result here. 
what we're just going to do, as you can see, these are more um, selling products. What we're looking for is we're actually looking for a blog post where people are talking about cute hair accessories. So that will give us a better idea. If we keep scrolling all of these apparently, except for BuzzFeed here, they apparently are, let's see, if we look at BuzzFeed, this probably is about 4,000 words. So we're going to right click here, counter. So, okay, so this is only a 1,700 word blog post. You could write maybe a 2,000 or 2,500 word blog post about cute hair accessories and potentially rank. So you want to make sure that you are looking at what your competitors are doing and you want to make sure that you are writing long enough to answer the question, but not too long that you're just talking just to talk. And so I always answer the question. It should be exactly as long as it needs to be to fully answer the question. Now about the other question, this is how I try and make sure that I answer the question fully. I'll simply sit down and do a little bit of brainstorming and do who, what, when, where, why, and how. And so before I start writing a single sentence, I'll go through and spend about 10 or 15 minutes brainstorming. And brainstorming, I'm just going to answer questions. I'm going to ask and answer questions. What are cute hair accessories? Okay. And, you know, maybe where do I find them? Where do I find hair accessories? Now, in all transparency, this is something that I learned back in elementary school, and it really helps you write and connect with your audience because your audience is asking these same questions. They came to the internet looking for cute hair accessories. Of course, they want to know what are the latest cute hair accessories. They want to know where they can buy them. They may even want to know how much they cost. So these are all questions that we're going to put down to help solve our customer's problem. Because if we can solve the customer's problem, we are going to build a relationship with them. So what I'm gonna do is spend about 10 minutes to brainstorm, and after I brainstorm, I am going to keep the good questions, and I'm going to turn these into H2s. Now the reason why I wanna turn these into H2s or subheadings is so that I can help better let Google know what my blog post is about. So once I have these all filled out, I'm simply just gonna go in and answer the question. So um, cute hair accessories, include and whatever you're going to put and just this is actually believe it or not going to make your writing much easier you're going to write much faster because you know exactly what you need to write and how long you need to write and where it needs to go so now that we know what is actually before we do that once you're done writing go ahead and click publish and when you click publish your blog post is going to be out for the world to see after that we are going to on the next page talk about different ways to make money there are a number of ways to make money in this space. One of the ways to make money is simply having ads placed on your website. As you can see here on BuzzFeed's website, this is an ad right here. This down here at the bottom is an ad. And you can get paid as the blog owner. You can get paid if someone watches this video or someone clicks on these ads because you are actually running these ads on your website. And in the very beginning, you're probably going to want to work with Google AdSense because they take just about anybody. Now, they're not going to pay you a lot. You are going to make pennies on the dollar. But once you start getting significant traffic, 5,000, 50,000, 100,000 page views per month, you can work with other ad agencies like Mediavine, Azoic, and some of the other big ones out there. But you can start here with Google AdSense just to make some pennies. Now, another way that you can make money is simply with affiliate marketing. And affiliate marketing is recommending or selling other people's products and services. If someone clicks on your affiliate link and buys the product, you get paid a commission. Now, the way affiliate marketing works is you go out and you find different companies that offer affiliate programs. You're going to sign up with those programs. They're going to give you special links called affiliate links, and you're going to put them right in your blog post. Now, if you want to learn more about affiliate marketing, the third link in the description will actually take you over to a free course where you'll learn affiliate marketing step by step. After affiliate marketing, you can also sell your own products whether they're digital or physical. If we look at this website here, this one right here, they sell their own products and you could do this too. Um, selling your own products is nice because you're gonna keep more of the margins, but you know, you're gonna have to worry about shipping and some of those other things. As you can see, you have that option as well. After making money, we wanna share our content on social media. Now, the reason why you wanna share your content on social media in the very beginning is because Google isn't going to share it in the beginning. Google is comparing your content versus the content that's already out there on the market, and they want to see if your content is relevant, if it makes sense, if it's topical. So that can take six months, nine months before your content starts to rank. 
in order to speed that process up, I recommend that you go and share your content in relevant social media platforms. You can share it on Reddit subreddits, on Facebook groups. You could start your own Facebook group, Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, anywhere where there's an audience that are interested in your content, you can share it. Now, the key is, is you need to share it to people that are interested in your content. It would not make sense for you to share a fashion blog to people that are interested in underwater basket weaving because those are two completely separate spaces. So the key there is to make sure that you are sharing to people that will care about your content. After sharing on social media, the next common question that I get is, how many blog posts should I write? And I believe that to get started, you should write, you should set a goal to write 50 blog posts. Now, 50 blog posts is a good amount of blog posts and it's really going to set yourself apart from other bloggers that are in the space. A lot of people give up after 10. Google is waiting around to see if you're consistent or not. And if you write 50 blog posts within a niche, it's going to give you domain authority. People are going to look to you as a subject matter expert because 50 blog posts in cute hair accessories or hair accessories is a lot more than what some people are willing to do. You're going to build domain authority. You're going to get traffic and then you can start niching up. So I think you should write 50 blog posts, either one a day or one every other day until you get to 50 and then take a step back and see if this is something that you want to do long term. Now, the final thing that we need to do today is we need to take a look at the three links in the description. The first one will help you get web hosting. The second one will help you get a premium WordPress theme. And then the third one actually leads to a free affiliate marketing course. So be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell if this video or any other video on this channel helps you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.